Hey guys, it's Lucky Ghost here, and today we're going to talk about the new mythic item, the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt. This item is incredibly powerful. You get up to 10 stacks that increase your critical damage and crit chance for each stack, as long as you don't take direct damage from the enemy. Direct damage is anything that is not a dot right direct damage is the inverse of a dot so as long as you don't take direct damage you keep these stacks but if you take direct damage you lose five of the ten stacks which would mean this item becomes very ineffective very fast if you're constantly taking damage so you wouldn't use this in a solo build but it's great in certain group situations where the tank has aggro on everything and you're not taking any direct damage in those situations it's going to be a best in slot item putting out an absolutely amazing amount of damage for you but how do we get the item you're going to need to dig up five leads and you're going to need scrying an extra excavating level seven to dig up these leads. The first lead is going to be the bog blue Jasper fetish. This is going to be located on the final boss in the ruins of Mazaton dungeon. Ruins of Mazaton is located in Shadowfen. So once you have found a lead, you dig it up in the same zone that it drops in. Ruins of Mazaton is in Shadowfen. So once you find it, go to Shadowfen and scry and excavate and dig the lead up here. The second lead is going to be the Cothringy cut leather. This lead is going to drop off any world boss located within Blackwood. The third lead is going to be in the zone of Valfoyan, and it's going to be found off a Covenant enemy. Covenant enemies are located specifically around these fields right here in the middle of the zone. And you'll see these Covenant Gallants like this. Go ahead and kill them for a chance at the lead. Once you find the lead, be sure to stick around in the zone and dig it up. The fourth lead is once again located in Shadowfen. This lead is called the Tide Glass Beads and can be found off of any water plant such as Nern Root or Water Hyacinth. So run around the zone grabbing those nodes and you'll eventually find the lead. The fifth and final lead is the Wolf Tail Sash. It's going to be located in the zone of Merkmire. Go to any foul fishing spot. So that would be right here, right here, or right here in the northwest. Get to the foul fishing spot, pull out your pole, get your foul bait equipped, and start fishing. Eventually, you'll pull the lead out and then go ahead and stick around in the zone and dig up that fifth and final lead. Now that you have all five pieces of the Harpooner's waiting kilt, it will automatically assemble and appear in your inventory. Enjoy this awesome new mythic item, and if you're not level 7 scrying and excavating, be sure to check out my power leveling guide for scrying and excavating. I'll link that in the description below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below, and if you ever want to hang out with someone else who loves ESO, be sure to swing by my Twitch stream over at twitch.tv slash luckyghost. And finally, I'd like to thank my YouTube members for supporting the channel by becoming members. To find out how to become a member of this channel and what the perks are, click the join button below. Until the next video, guys.